The low altitude assault transport was a type of LAAT gunship used by the Republic during the Clone Wars. Also known as Republic gunship, it was an effective vehicle used for attacking and transporting troops. After the Clone Wars, the few remaining were used for a short period of time before they were deactivated or destroyed. The LAAT made its first appearance in the 2002 Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. There were many different variants of the LAAT. First was the gunship, the infantry, and the carrier. Produced by the Rodana Heavy Engineering, the LAAT carrier was a heavy airlift variant of the Grand Army of the Republic and had the ability to move the ATTE into battle ready position at a moment's notice. The Acclimated class assault ship was used to carry the LAAT into battle and can hold up to 66 infantry gunship and 14 carriers. Furthermore, the clone troopers' full combat armor are integrated with the gunship. Individual troops can receive command signal and relay status update and tactical video back to the lat in real time. This gunship plays an important role during battle and can transport troops over rough terrain or transport a slow armored vehicle into position. They are lighter and faster than mobile artillery and most ground transportation, yet still carry a considerable amount of weapons. The lat gunship used both missile and energy weapons. These combinations were deadly when used together and gave the gunship a tactical advantage. The front of the gunship had two double cockpit bubble where the pilot and gunner sat in a single file. Similar to the US military Black Hawk, the gunship had an open bay on each side. The side door had the ability to move back and outward for quick mobilization of troops. The size mounted gunner turn with amateur swing allowed the gunner a wider field of rotation but left them exposed to enemy fire. On front of the turret was the firing dish, which has the ability to shoot pinpoint laser during air to surface combat. As well, the gunship has a pair of chin mounted laser cannon turret that can rotate independently. Against long range or fixed target, the LAT used two mass driver missile launchers, which held available payload depending on the mission. On the wings are two remotely controlled laser turrets one on each wing. Each of these turns have the wide field of rotation and can serve in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operation. Toward the bottom of the vessel are four air-to-air -air missiles hung below each wing for any in-flight target. On the end of the gunship was the tail cannon to defend troops or scout vehicle exiting the back hatch. With the ability to hold up to 30 clone troopers during combat, the variant were modified to carry additional military speeders or walker to the battlefield. The LAAT is about 17.4 meters or 56 feet in length, and it's about 17 meters or 56 feet in width. It also has the height of 6 meters or 20 feet. In addition, the ship has the maximum acceleration of 620 km per hour. As we take a closer look inside the LAAT, you can see the laser cannon power feed and four laser cannon converter. The cable system fed power to the cannon and then convert the electrical energy into optical energy. Near the laser guns were the flexible power cables and the medical and survival gears. Inside the wings were a missile and missile guided belt. Each missile carried a 100 kiloton explosion in a 2 degree cone. On the mass driver missile launcher were the shock absorber, heat sink, and radiator. The shock absorber was designed to absorb or dampen the compression and rebound of the spring while the heat sink and radiator transfer the heat generated by the missile launcher. 
The LAAT proved excellent in its performance and was the most mobile of enemy craft. These gunships made their first appearance at the First Battle of Geonosis, where they proved critical in securing victory for the vastly outnumbered Republic forces. The LAAT was one of the most flexible transport in the Star Wars series and had similar design characteristics to the U.S. military Black Hawk. So, what are your opinions on the low altitude assault transport? Jump down on the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And if you want to see more Star Wars technical 3D animation, check out my playlist on the right hand corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.